Hello friends, welcome to another video on HubSpot. Today we're going to be taking a look at the feedback service tool which is part of the service hub. In my previous video I discussed the tickets tool and further down you will find the feedback service. If you click over here this page will open up. As you can see I already have some service up and running. Three of them are CS80 surveys, one is NPS survey and the last one is CES survey. So what are these surveys and how would it help you identify how, your, how the customer experience has been? This is the big question. So measuring customer satisfaction is the standard for understanding how customers feel about your product or service or even their experience. And for good reason, CS80 scores are a great indicator of customer loyalty and brand advocacy. What does CS80 stands for? So in this video, I'm going to only touch base on CS80 survey. I'm not going to uh, discuss the NPS and CES, which I will cover in the next videos. So CS80 basically stands for customer satisfaction score and it's calculated by asking a very simple question. How satisfied are you with your with your experience? According to HubSpot, CS80 scores vary by industry, but a good score generally falls between 75% to 85%. A score of 75% would mean that three out of four customers gave you a positive score instead of a negative or a neutral score. So over here in the first survey, I've already surveyed 540 people and I've received 78 responses. Predominantly they are in green, which means happy. If you can see 72% are happy, 21% are neutral and 8% are unhappy. Again, depending on the industry, my surveys um, are very close to the 75% benchmark set by HubSpot. Similarly, in the second survey, again, I've surveyed 1,307 people and received 83 responses. 57% are happy, 23% neutral and 20% unhappy. The third one, 39 responses. And here I've scored the perfect 75% happy customers. So this is the rating breakdown, which uh, HubSpot also shows. So let me create a survey and show you exactly how it looks. I'm going to click over here, create survey and the three survey types shows up. I'm going to select CSAT. So you use a customer satisfaction survey to get feedback on any part of the customer service that you want to know more about. So you can click on how it works to see what HubSpot is saying and click on preview here. If you see, this is how it will look like when you send an email. You recently bought something from our online shop. We would love to know what you thought. So these kind of and it will show how happy were you with the overall buying experience. It's a simple one question. Uh, usually this is done by e-commerce companies or any uh, companies like Amazon wherein you buy something and then they send you this question automatically at the end of the page, either in the confirmation page or an email is sent out. So basically there are two ways of showing it either on the website which is the confirmation page before you exit or an email can also be sent out with this question. I'm going to go back. I'm go, you can click start over here. And this is it. Email first option. Second option is web page. So on the top, you will see delivery, survey, feedback. Thank you. Recipients, setting and automation. You can also do a preview or send even a test survey. If I click on web page, you will see that on any particular web page that you want, this pop up will show up. Now you can show this pop up on left or on right or as a top bar or as a screen, uh, full screen. Click on email and I'm going to go to, I can rename the survey over here. Let's say I'm going to rename this as test survey. Okay. Uh, click on survey and this image this emailer shows up the first up is email settings you can click on or choose any survey language there are different languages available pretty much covers every language that's used predominantly second name is the company name third name is the from name fourth is the from address it's usually no reply at whatever your company domain is subject line is Hey, how did we do? You can change this over here. You can also add personalization tokens. So for example, hi, 
and then add their first name choose a token you can choose first name insert so hi Robert or hi Samir whatever it is how did we do it will show up over here with their first name it will also pulling up over here in the email uh, body if you click on advanced settings then you will have the office location under the email body you will see automatically this is pulled in your opinion matters or you can always change this introduction you recently bought something from our online shop we would love to know what you thought so HubSpot has automatically populated all of this greeting and the introduction and the survey question so it's taking away the bulk of the work from you and it's also showing you what is the standard standardized kind of a questions that you should be asking if you want to change this go ahead and change it it's completely your call click on theme and you can change the logo over here you can either remove it and you can replace it uh, again the theme I have the orange theme selected you can choose any of the themes that you want or even a custom color now that you have selected done this you can click on preview and this is what will show up preview step you can also look up the feedback and the thank you and you can also look up this one in mobile and in um, in desktop and mobile and tablet I'm going to go back to editor next up is feedback so unhappy if you have chosen if somebody chooses unhappy then f there's a follow-up question can you tell us more about your experience so that we can get it right the next time so the customer writes the answer over here I had for example I had a bad experience with the product let's say this is the answer which can be written down by the customer similarly if it's neutral if somebody chooses neutral then can you tell us more about your experience so that we can do better next time if it's happy can you tell us why you scored us so highly uh, and then go to thank you so depending on the answer whether it was unhappy neutral or happy um, these icons will be shown up along with this message again you have you can customize whatever you want over here you can even change the image you can replace the image for unhappy they have defaulted with this image for neutral they have given this image and for happy customers they have given this so thanks so much and then in the body again your feedback means a world to us for example for unhappy customers you want to give them a $20 voucher for example we would like to offer you offer you a complimentary $20 $20 voucher get it here so you can click over here and link that's a good option that HubSpot has provided you can provide a URL and the customer when they click on here they will be redirected to that page where they can redeem the voucher so you have the pretty good customizations over here recipients next up so you have different options over here very powerful options you also have the edit criteria here which is again good so you can who do you want to survey now the question is completely dependent on you which industry you belong to when do you want to survey so if somebody has become a customer not more than 30 days ago by default this is selected and I have 1951 people fulfilling this criteria if you want to start from scratch you can start from scratch or you can set up uh, you can create a criteria the, if you click on create a criteria then uh, you can select customer date is between or is after whatever you want to do you also have different options over here do you want to resurvey do you want to include existing contacts it's very granular go to cancel this static list you can also select stat static list and select the list and then go ahead select with the survey next up settings decide when the survey should be sent out so now that you have selected the recipients next up is when do you want to send it so when the recipient meets the criteria so if they have done a purchase or you want to send them the survey immediately or instantly or do you want to add a delay of one hour or two hours or days whatever you want so one hour or after 10 minutes let's say or 30 minutes so I want to do it 
I want to send out this survey 30 minutes after somebody becomes a customer or they had an interaction with my customer service. So depending, it's your choice, days, hours, minutes, it's all in there. And you can also select an individual or a team who will be sent notifications whenever a survey has been filled out. Uh, the most interesting part comes over here, which is automation. And this is where HubSpot's powerful automation option is available. Now automate your follow up actions. When a customer survey is unhappy, what do you want to do? A neutral creative workflow, happy creative workflow. So if somebody is happy, you want to create a workflow, you have to set your criteria. It takes you back. It opens up the same uh, window, which is when you create a workflow. You want to send them an email or you want to send an internal email notification to your team members. You want to create a task so that you can follow up on see more. You want to delay for a certain amount of time and then send an email, whatever you want to do. You want to trigger, trigger a webhook. Uh, custom code and format data, these are new. As you can see, this is part of Operations Hub which has been launched about three or four days back by HubSpot. Very interesting again, the operations hub. Um, you want to create an if-then branch, send an internal SMS to one of your team members, rotate the contact records between your sales or service hub team so that they can follow up depending on uh, I mean, which action is chosen. You want to create a record, adds to add audiences, uh, remove from add audiences, create a property value. For example, let's say I want to create a property value select the property value and I I choose a property value over here yeah it's that granular that you can th there's different options available um, you want to manage the subscription status you want to increase or decrease the property value add contact to zoom webinar um, that's because I have integrated with zoom so that's why this option is showing up so depending on what action they take you can always create workflows from within the service hub uh, tool without even going to the workflows tool uh, finally you can review and publish uh, and you know it it's activated so that's it about uh, the csat surveys so you should be asking yourself the big question which is when should you send out these csat surveys so the best time would be to send a survey after a meaningful part of the customer life cycle has been completed like an onboarding process or a sale or an interaction with a customer service executive depending on your business so that's it for this video in the next video i will cover the ces and the other survey thank you